Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it's your boy Anubis bringing you another afternoon with Anubis. Now before I get into today's video guys, I want to quickly apologize to all the people who may have felt yesterday's video was about them. More than likely, if you got butt hurt by it or offended by it or felt some kind of negative emotion about it, then probably more than likely it was about you. Because if it wasn't about you and had nothing to do with you, and you were sure 100% without a doubt that it had nothing to do with you, then there's no reason for you to get offended or upset or butt hurt. Um, you know, yes, I reacted immaturely. I warned you, I was probably going to. I just want to say, guys, I'm going to continue to be honest with you guys. I'm going to continue to be blunt and indiscriminate and not bite my tongue because that's who I've been with you guys. And that's the person I always want to continue to be. I know a lot of YouTube celebrities try to always be positive and always not show the negative or harsh, mean side to themselves that they may have or may not have. Me, I'm all about 100% real, man. 100%, 110% real at all times in every video, in everything I do, in everyday life. If I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you. If I'm angry, I'm gonna show you. If I feel like cussing at you, I'm going to cuss at you. If I feel like cussing you out, I'm gonna cuss you out. No matter what the situation may be, no matter what arises, guys, no matter what the future holds, I'm always going to be 110% real with you guys, 100%, 110% brutally honest with you guys, because I want to rise above the other YouTubers that feel that being the way I am with you guys is unprofessional. I want to set a new standard of professionalism. I want to set a new standard of respect for people, whether the YouTubers whether they're homeless, whether they're mentally ill, whether they're 12 years old, 10 years old, 50 years old. If there's a six-year-old person choosing to decide to become the next big thing on YouTube or, or Twitch or whatever in the esports community or gaming industry, you know what? They have my 100,000% support. And I will do whatever I can to help them succeed and grow as much as I have or even beyond if I can. My goal of doing this career choice, this decision, is to succeed for myself and to find stability financially, mentally, emotionally, and overall physically. But when I reach that plateau, that growth, that, that high point of my career, I wanna be able to share that with all of you. I wanna be able to give back to all of you. I wanna be able to promote your Twitches, your YouTubes, and help you guys grow along with me because I know you guys are doing amazing and fantastic, funny ass things on your YouTube channels, on your live streams. You guys are bringing new and various content to the gaming community, to the esports industry, and I want people to be able to grow with me and I want to be able to return it and have them grow alone, even if it means taking some of my subscribers, my followers, m the people that enjoy what I do, and they start liking you more. Hey, so be it, you know? Yeah, it hurts a little bit, it sucks to lose some people or have some people unsubscribe or have the people unfollow or have people think less about me. But you know what? Honestly, at the end of the day, well, no matter if, if a thousand people unfollow, if a thousand people unsubscribe, if you know, 10 people unsubscribe, 10, one person unsubscribes, whatever the amount may be that people decide to turn away from me from, I will eventually make all of that up with hard work and determination because I'm determined to make this into something still. I'm still driven. I'm still hungry for success. I'm still thirsty to make this into a career and to become another social media giant, to be making an official living out of this, a career, and to be able to become stable doing what I do. So I, I hope to, you know, hit that plateau one day and then re return that level of success to you guys. That's my plan. You know, to give you guys things back, whether it's money, objects, giveaways, candy, <laughs> whatever it may be, guys, whether it's followers, subscribers, it's all going back to you guys. I wouldn't be shit. I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be anything without each and every one of you. Like I told you guys yesterday in yesterday's live stream, even if I could change my following around to having a bunch of older people 
that were successful, had money, had good paying jobs, and could donate thousands, millions of dollars. I wouldn't trade them for the people I have now for anything. I like the crowd I have now, even if they don't can't support me financially. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, support me, whether it's emotionally or verbally or just giving me a pat on the back saying, Nubish, you're doing a great job. Keep it up, bro. I believe in what you're doing. I love the content you bring. I love how real you are. Even if it's sometimes brutally honest and sometimes a little bit disrespectful, I still respect what you do. I respect you as a person, as an individual, as a human being. And I can't repeat enough to you guys. I don't expect you guys to be giving me your money, your hard-earned money, your life savings, your Christmas money. I'm not expecting money whatsoever, guys. It would be great to have more financial contributors, more financial stable people or people who can donate more or contribute or help me grow even. like Even people that could help me become more famous and more successful on my YouTube and Twitch would be even a, a great help. Just to have people, you know, big streamers, big YouTubers bring their following to my channel to help me succeed and become even more successful and to get to that plateau of stability would be absolutely amazing. You know, I'm not expecting money. You know, all I want is to grow and to succeed and become stable and to have friends eventually along the way, to become close friends with many of you. So that way I know, you know, that for once in my life, I have people I can depend on, people I can turn to and talk to when I'm sad, when I'm depressed, when I feel like the world is coming to an end, when I feel like I just don't want to be living anymore. I want to have people I can turn to. People I can depend on. You know, yeah, I need money. Obviously, you know, I may have to stop doing YouTube. May have to stop live streaming. May have to go out and find a job. You know, and I have been looking for work. As I said yesterday, I have been. And right now I'm going to therapy for my mental health conditions, my mental health illnesses. The, 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 the state of my mentality right now is very poor. You know, I just came back from my first day of therapy today. Um, I go back again tomorrow, and then I have to do another three days next week, and then the week after another three days. So, I mean, you know, I'm doing what I feel is the very first steps to getting my life in order, to getting my mind right, and to getting my emotional well-being in order and stable. Because that's the first thing first. You know, I need to get my mind right. I need to get emotionally and mentally stable. I will not be able to even function at a job, even if I get hired tomorrow at some place. To work there, I wouldn't be able to. Not right now. Um, so right now I'm doing what I think is best for me. I'm going to continue doing what I think is best for me. But I appreciate any advice you guys want to give, any opinions you want to give. It is appreciated. Now, I may not agree with your opinions. I may argue with your opinions. I may you know, tell you straight outright I think you're wrong. Or that, you know, might get angry or get defensive saying that, you know, you don't understand where I'm coming from. You, you're not in my shoes. You're not in my position. And I know a large amount of my following is from younger gentlemen and younger ladies. And, you know, you guys haven't, honestly, you haven't lived my life. You haven't been in my shoes. You haven't gone through what I've gone through. You don't have the problems I'm having. Most of you guys are secure with your moms and dads. Maybe some of you got a job, but you're still living with your mom and dad. You're not paying for your cell phone. You're not paying for rent. You're not paying car payments. You're not paying for gas. You're not paying for electricity. You're not paying for your your shampoo, your bedding, your your clothing. Your, you're not paying for a lot of things. If Even if you are paying for things, it's not a lot of things. And that's why I need you to understand is that, like, Life isn't so easy or simple as you guys make it out to be. It's not as easy as just going getting and getting hired at McDonald's or Burger King or some other fast food joint. It's not that easy. And it, does not even has, it doesn't even have to do with having experience. It's having no work history. That's the other thing it comes down to is that jobs want to see that you're dependable, loyal, and dedicated. And that's what it flat out comes down to. You guys may disagree, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to your views. And I respect it. I do. But I need you to understand my views, respect my opinion, and respect that I have tried and been trying, and that I've filled out 30, 40 applications since I've been homeless, and have only had three or four jobs reply to me and not hire me because basically I have no work history for about eight years. 
jobs find that very intimidating. They find that you are possibly an unreliable, undedicated, and not a hardworking individual because you haven't been working. It, it throws a lot of jobs off, especially when you're 32 years old, 40 years old, whatever. And when you're younger, jobs don't really care because you're younger. You know, you're just starting to get into the real world. You're just starting to learn about what life is about and learning about hard work, determination, and just making your own money. So a lot of jobs take you younger people. And you guys don't realize that, yeah, they take you even without experience or without any work history because you're younger. You're not, have lived the life I have. You're not as old as I am. Jobs look at age and say, okay, well, a 32-year-old man should have at least X amount of work history or at least have recent work history. Even if it's only for a day or a month or five minutes, should at least have some recent work history compared to a 16, 17, 18-year-old individual who has no history with work because they've been in school and just graduated maybe or they're still in school but trying to make some money. Some you know, jobs appreciate that younger people want a job. They want to make their own money. They want to be hardworking and independent. And that's my point, guys. And that's what I think many of you don't understand because you're not my age. You're not having work history for eight years. You're not mentally ill. You're not me. I don't encourage you to be me. I don't encourage you to do what I'm doing, to, to, to make a YouTube career, to make a live streaming career, to try to become successful in gaming or in general as a streamer or YouTuber. I don't encourage it. I don't recommend it because it's a struggle right now. If you're pretty much not big already by this point of the gaming community and the esports community's growth, you're not really going to get too much farther. I mean, you will. But it's going to be a long, long time before you actually hit that plateau. Like You're going to have to do something incredibly funny or incredibly amazing, shocking, new. Something that's never been done, seen before, heard of, heard of. Something that people couldn't even begin to dream of. You have to come up with something just out of this universe, much less the world. So, I mean, you know, it's really difficult. That's all I wanted to say, guys. I wanted to apologize and just kind of go into that little tantrum and little circle of revelation, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, guys, seriously, I can't say this enough. Stay cool. Be cool. You give respect, and you'll get respect in return, guys. But that is a key factor to give respect if you want respect. All right, guys. Peace. I love you.